I'm Matteo Polettini from the University of Luxembourg. I work in the field of stochastic thermodynamics and I received the FNR award for outstanding scientific publication for my paper Efficiency Statistics at All Times Can No Limit at Finite Power. Thermodynamics is the science that studies uh, all processes that convert one form of energy into another. So for example, when you make tea, uh, you transform electric energy into the heat that uh, keeps the tea warm. And stochastic is because uh, we want to apply this theory to small systems uh, at the nanoscopic scale. So there are good and bad news coming from thermodynamics. So bad news first, uh, we know that by the second law, uh, not all of uh, the energy can be converted into a useful form and some of it will be lost to the environment in the form of heat. The efficiency I talked about in uh, our paper is the relative amount of useful energy that we can get out of a thermodynamic process. Now the good news comes from the first law of thermodynamics is that uh, energy is anyway conserved. So we can always learn how to better use this energy to improve on the efficiency. And I believe this is the goal of thermodynamics. Examples of microscopic systems where thermodynamics could be applied include, for example, cellular metabolism that we study also in this group. Metabolism is a process that converts uh, nutrients into uh, tokens of energy that the body will be able to employ for its tasks later. Another example could be the microprocessor, which is a device that converts energy into another form of energy, which is information. And this again can be understood as a thermodynamic process. The problem with the microscopic world is that physical quantities do not take uh, continuous values, but they can fluctuate a lot. By fluctuation, I mean that there are effects of randomness of noisy behavior. This, for example, is a simulation of Brownian motion, which is a mathematical construction used to model noise. So correspondingly, also in stochastic thermodynamics, quantities like the energy or the efficiency itself, uh, they can fluctuate. So what we came up with, we modeled the system with the simplest possible mathematics to uh, understand what is the general behavior of the efficiency fluctuations. The efficiency is a stochastic variable, so it can take a number of different values from no efficiency to optimal efficiency. And now uh, these values, they can occur with a certain probability. So this is red line is the curve that we found for the efficiency fluctuations and it's quite universal. And it has two maximum, two most probable efficiencies. The first maximum, which is below the optimal efficiency, is what one would expect in a world where there is no randomness. In fact, in a world where there is no stochasticity, one would find this other curve, which is peaked on that maximum. But then we found a second maximum here, which is a bit unexpected and mysterious, because it's above 100% efficiency, so now how is that possible? We investigated this problem and we understood that this happens because for a while the household and the energy supplier have reversed roles. The process runs backward in time for a while, so it gives energy back to the line. On its own, this fact is more of a curiosity. But we believe that uh, for systems that live close to the situation where they can easily turn from households to power stations, uh, efficiency can be optimized. Now the problem with optimal machines, according to the older theory, is that they can only be optimal, but they are also infinitely slow. And therefore they are uh, useless for all practical purposes. Now employing our ideas, we might look for design principles for machines that are close to optimal, but they are also fast enough to be useful. We are collecting evidence in support of this now. However, it is important to emphasize that this research was only stimulated by scientific curiosity and it is impossible to tell where it will lead. 
More generally, I believe that the role of scientific research is to promote critical inquiry rather than finding solutions to specific problems.